Oh, what just did happen? <laughs> Hi everyone, I just logged in just to crash right out again. So let's <laughs> try it a second time. No, I just crashed the moment I logged in. So let me just check out that crash log quickly. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I wanted to start GD launcher and check out what the crash report was. I got an other crash report right away. Okay, let me open the folder. Yeah, I'm going to check that out because it just crashed right away again today, the 19th. Yeah, it was something stupid. <laughs> oh, that's a double one. We're almost there. Yeah, I won't update GD Launcher e either because I heard it does some stupid stuff in the newest update. So I'm going to avoid that right away. <laughs> I said Horizon, we're restarting. We had a short Forge crash right on login. Oh, don't update it. I heard the new update sucks. I wouldn't update it. Let me just log in. This time I won't forget to turn it back on. I swear. I promise. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't download it. I heard they have like now advertisement and annoying stuff and different buttons and Okay, we are logging in now. Let's hope that um, Murphy is not with us at this time. <laughs> Come on, Murphy. I know you can do it. Yes, this looks good. And we are back. So let me reload those chunks. And now I can say hello and welcome everyone to another Mind Colonies Let's Play with the developer stream. I'm Raycams and I'm one of the main developers of this mod. And I believe that some Addons, one of the other maintainers, is going to join relatively soon. He's on Discord already. Say hi, some Addons. I'm inside the game too. I can't hear you. You're very low. Um, oh, maybe it's... Ah, my computer was low, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say it didn't change anything. Um, yes, I also have to use uh, GD Launcher because um, Twitch is not available on Linux either. But I wouldn't use Twitch even if it was available on Linux. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. And hi, Captain Salt. How are you? Yeah, I don't uh, care either because I really do not want... Why Why is everyone here sad? Who died? Was it the miner? I'm not sure. Didn't see anyone die. So, Leo is alive. Let me check if Jenny is alive. <laughs> Those are the ones that matter the most. Not that you you guys don't matter, just not as much. <laughs> <laughs> you do matter, but less. <laughs> <laughs> less. Okay, Jenny is alive. Okay, okay. The miner. The miner we just got. Oh, there is Jenny. Let me see. Hi, Strothaler, how are you? We're doing a short inventory check. 
Okay, Mikaela is still fine as well. Um, then I don't know. Maybe a researcher died again. That's a good question. I saw you logging in earlier. Maybe someone died. Quick moment. Uh, we we definitely need like a, a list and invite in the in the town hall of events like the last people who died or something like that yeah the last that buildings really that were finished i think that would be a pretty neat feature i'm doing fine i was battling all day long uphill battle against c++ and c++ was shouting ray i have the higher ground you can win <laughs> and i said no and but I, I won I won I was able to prevent a heavy loss in the end after all um, even though I, until the last moment it looked like I'm going to be totally destroyed I was able to to take the the win with me after all <laughs> with a lot of headache <laughs> It's like you ch I just ch joined back in on C++ and then <laughs> yeah but it's like it's not like that I'm trying to write little programs with C++ and have a problem with it it's because like I join in C++ and then try to reinvent the world at the same time so I'm coding a um, I'm working on a consensus um implementation so i took one consensus existing consensus library i have to work myself into and then a consent then a signature library i'm integrating currently into the consensus library which is which i'm getting very close to that's like kind of step one and i'm going to profile that a little bit compared to the existing signature implementation might try out a few things and then the next step would then be changing the communication scheme which is i'm already feeling headache for that just as anticipation <laughs> anticipation for the future headache but it's good because the headache i'm kind of feeling already is going to be preparing me for the future headache yes cryptographic signatures hi house of Dargus, how are you yeah, I'm, I'm working with the BLS um, threshold and aggregated signatures. At least I found a neat way on how to preload them. So I'm just generating lists of signatures and config files before starting the program. Because else <laughs> I would have to wait half an hour for the signatures to generate before each um execution and that would be just absolutely horrifying i'm doing fine i'm doing quite fine um been very busy this week uh probably going to continue a bunch of this c plus plus stuff over the weekend but i'm also going to take um some time for my colonies this weekend i got a nice list of things i want to get done this weekend I got a huge list of things of the I want to get done in general, but for this weekend I got a pretty nice list already. And hi Minecraft Shirley. And yes, you are on this list as well. I'm going to review this beekeeper this weekend for sure. Already sorry for the delays. Mm. Okay. Meanwhile, I heard that one of our research finished, so I'm going to check into that right away. Oh, isn't that Forge FAP today? Was it already? Not sure, maybe. I, mean, I wanted to check into... I do usually publish kind of list of answers in the end as well, don't they? 
Yeah, or you can at least rewatch the stream. Ah, it's on in the stream. It. Ah, okay, that's probably then even easier. Um, yeah. we don't have archery level three yet, so those are fine on the civilian side. That's researching. We could start maybe by with those, but those are not so important. Let's check the technology. Oh, they released it already. I thought it would. They were. They only. They announced the release date to be on Tuesday next week, the twenty third. Yeah, it's such as well. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, I'm already going to get the chiseled stone bricks for the stone mason as well, because we got the blacksmith now. It's probably a good thing to to get quickly. No, I'm still kind of hesitant on the cake thing though. <laughs> Might have been a pre-announcement. Oh, that always sucks. I hate when that happens. You buy all that stuff and you're like, oh, I can't put that old... No. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. But uh, as far as I know, nowadays it's getting a little bit better. Yeah, another update is the 1.16. I heard that, for example, the AMD... CPUs use all the same so um, sockets, so you buy one's a decent mainboard and can reuse it for quite some time, so that's quite neat. Um, how were Shizzle sh stone bricks again? I think you had to... Uh, stone brick slabs. slabs. Yes. Yeah. Slaps as well. Okay. You know what grinds my gears a bit? A stack of stone bricks is not... is exactly too off <laughs> to create a stack of chiseled ones. <laughs> oh, I forgot the left click drag already again. <laughs> I just do this on purpose, just just to make sure that John Ryer is is bold by 2025. <laughs> um, technology, stone mason. There we go. <laughs> oh really? I didn't know that the stone cutter. It's like those 115 blocks, I really know nothing about. Basically any of them. I know nothing about any of them. Yeah, um, the pure fruit jars. No one needs them. Uh, for what? We have citizens that do this for me. And 710 was fine. I don't know what they are doing here. <laughs> I have to say I like that the water looks like less bland now. But... What is then like? Bees is kind of not really necessary. All the new blocks yeah. we were able to get from modding. Horses were not really necessary. Um, villager updates were not really necessary. Mm, the end update was pretty neat. I like Elytra and the end update. But the end is still kind of very empty. Yeah. It's like still kind of running around for hours and hours and to find end cities. They are working for years and not really adding stuff. <laughs> yeah. I do the only thing that I really like is how the water looks like now. Yeah, it looks less empty now. Yes, it definitely looks less empty now. S 72, and that's quite neat. You might get two pirate ships relatively soon too. <laughs> I'm going to jinx it because I might too. Yeah, I'm already waiting to see two ships. Yeah, some some Adams is is very eager to get that. I want to check on the library. Hi, Margo. How are you? Yes, you made it in time. We're only a quarter in the stream. Oh, we got a bunch of people here in the library. How are they with 
their intelligence levels. I can't exactly fast at leveling it. Eight and six, yeah, that's not very fast. <laughs> and they have been employed for a while. Yeah, they don't. They don't have books. They don't have paper. They're requesting paper, but none of them have paper. Um. I'm going to reset the request system quickly. I feel like the plantation worker is stuck. Yeah, I've noticed, Margot, that you've been absent in the last, in this week. Captain Salt has been fairly absent too. Yeah, if there was, if there was like a way to build stairs up this hill, it would be so useful. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm going to take care of that. So Yeah, we are pretty lazy with stairs. Um But then I want nice stairs. Yes, nice stairs. I All did as a big stair. I did like the quad stairs. I did like the stairs John put in the schematics, but they are wouldn't fit that well, I think, into the this yeah. area here, because they are relatively big, and I would have to place them within the um. Uh, we've been oh, there are prismarine stairs. Prismarine stairs, nah, they look ugly. If anything, I would want like quartz stairs. I love quartz stairs. Yeah, quartz stairs are nice. John John is angry now because I insulted his stairs. They look amazing, John. They really look amazing. But they would be uh, kind of in the way. Hiring also overrides the, the illness task. Yeah, I got that. Uh, yeah, the new AI might turn on until it's... No, actually the illness should continue yeah, to should run. Stay. It's only the work AI which is lower priority anyways. Yes, it should... should not. But... Um, there we go. So we're going to build up here a little bit. To grade a nice staircase up the hill. Um, yes. Well, I guess the delivery man was just delivering some paper up there. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Um, so now we want to go a little bit in. And then we want to go up again. A little bit to the side. There we go. One more. Should be fine. Don't have a hammer with me, no I don't. But this pickaxe is so fast anyway. There we go. Now I want actually that to be on this level. And then I can start here. Yes, if you hit the worker that is sick, they're going to update their weird state they're in. Fortunately, that's a relatively easy solution. At least a temporary one. I gotta cut this tree down, it's totally in the way. Oh, that is my favorite tree. I can't do that. I can't cut this tree. That tree is, has sentimental se sentimental value to me. <laughs> it's it's my posing tree. Yes, I can't. Cu so we are going this way. Let's decide it. Let's decide it. This way we go. Yep. 
Yeah, it takes away some decent CO2 too from our colony. So that might be important too. Um Okay, so we got here. Then we arrive here. We go here. Get up one. Think then we yes, thanks. Then we go into this direction again here. So we would have to create some kind of plateau again here. Yes, that should be fine. Um Okay. And then we're going Yes, now we should be able to go past the tree and not destroy it. Something to cut the tree? No. That's my poser tree. You can't cut that tree. I can burn it. <laughs> Well, it is like literally some some people want to watch the world burn literally There we go And some animals is having fun with fishing rods I see Good that I know that some Adams is even worse than I am in bad worse. <laughs> Especially when I've got my my weapons in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um then we make here a plateau again. One, two, three. And get up here. We get a bit in. Yes, and then we go up. Let me see if I can go up straight or if I should. Yes, I shouldn't go up straight. I should just then go one more. Yes, we have one, two, three outside here. One, two, three, one, two. Here. And we can go up here again. Um. <laughs> I see Captain was able to get muted again. <laughs> How are you doing this? <laughs> You you are enjoying this, aren't you? Um CPW with what kind of stream, Shirley? Hi Tiny Todd. Thoughts. <laughs> I think Nightbot got a private vendetta with you. Maybe justifiably. Ah, it's going to be um, FAP after this. Um, do you know the time FAP is going to be? Because I kind of wanted to watch a little bit of it at least. But following you, they're not online yet at least. It's the Forge Annual Parlor. It's like an Q&A of Forge. The only thing that makes it seem a little bit like a community project. <laughs> uh, 
Um, do we have some quartz here? Um, yes, we do. A bunch of stairs and a bunch of logs. How much stairs was it again? I'm unsure I saw it correctly. Yes, 13. So I'm going to request 10 of those. Quartz stairs. Oh, there's smooth quartz stairs too. Normal quartz stairs should be fine. And block of quartz 50. Oh, 50. And, ah, did I check how much normal quartz block? <laughs> Third time is the. Okay. Um, meanwhile, I think we have in our base some um, too. AM is in the morning. Uh, at, at the AM is in the morning. Yes. PM is um si since you're German, I can give you a tip. If you just remember AM as am morgen. <laughs> That's an easy way to remember that. Uh, shingles, net, ah, nether here. Oh, I got some quartz at least, nice. So now I'm streamer and English teacher of Captain. <laughs> yeah, but he's not going to remember what Mead Meriden means. So, having some kind of way to remember it e more easily. But yeah, why, did, why just not use a 24 hour format? It's just easier for everyone. Really, like the two stacks of quartz just gave me 12 stairs. That's kind of disappointing. That's like. That's why you usually one, don't make decorations out of Two, <laughs> three, four. But it looks so great! <laughs> I mean, you were set stored or so. Yes. <laughs> After midnight and pre midnight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one too. That one I hadn't heard yet. <laughs> yes. Uh, we could just go into some... Just universal time as well. Like, it's... 20 trillion seconds since... The creation of our sun system, <laughs> solar system. That would be an interesting way as well to measure it, don't you think? Or we use that time. Um, time since the Big Bang. No, I, I know there is UTC, although I'm not a big fan of UTC. I'm a huge fan of the anywhere on Earth time, because UTC is kind of centered at one specific place in the world. But anywhere on world, in the world, is a nice one. It always gives me another 24 hours to hand in my papers. <laughs> this is such a great time zone. There we go. Oh, that's... Ow. The quartz in the warehouse was fairly useful, I have to say. Brought me almost all the way up here. The stairs. That's neat. I'm going to have to place some waypoints on the way definitely after that. 
so that our workers are going to use that one up as well. There we go. Um, up the mountain. So we are basically had just enough for it. That's nice. I just thought I'm going to have to spend an hour in the nether. I'm still going to spend some time in the nether to get a bit, little bit more quartz. But... That was fairly successful. I'm going to need some for the... I don't know, these places here. Or maybe I'm going to use a different material here, to kind of as like a contrast. Let me experiment around a little bit. Go to the base. And time zones are not really natural, right? Have you once looked how time zones like run? Yeah, time zones are absolutely and solely political. They're not really natural at all. Um, nether stuff, where was it? Here. Nether rag, soul sand. Could put magma blocks. <laughs> it, it depends because, like, the con based on the concept, every kilometer should have like one second derivated um, time zone, right? Every few kilometers, if you take it seriously. Um, meanwhile, let us place first the waypoints on the way up here. Where's my build tool? There it is. Ah, now I can't place the waypoint because I'm going to change the material here first. I'm going to mine that already. I'm going to replace that. Oh, I would absolutely love that. It would be so such a scientific thing to do. Just make <laughs> the time zone per kilometer. And then you're like, which kilometer am I? What time is it? <laughs> you could like plan your working, pl your living place in a certain distance to your working place, just so that you can like optimize the, the time zones perfectly. Like, I'm going to live two kilometers in this direction and not in the other direction of my company. That gives me five more minutes to wake up in the morning. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I absolutely love the concept of that. <laughs> I'm going to write a paper about that. <laughs> absolutely love this concept. It would make it things so much more interesting. I mean, let's be honest, modern life has this kind of, like, used to everything being so easy. I would kind of welcome making some things a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Gives all the OCD people more time to waste with planning. <laughs> the thing is, if you live in the other direction of your workplace, you're going to lose a few hours of sleep, so you gotta be yeah, smart doing it. Late. And you're going to be always late. Yeah, like, what is my CPU? Um, ah, wait. My CPUs are around 90 at the moment. And that is like... Degree or... Huh? Degree. degree Celsius. Oh, degree Celsius. Oh, pretty high. But that it like yeah. That's because it's a laptop, so it heats a little bit more than a normal PC. And I'm playing with shaders. 
and recording in a stream at the same time. So I guess that kind of... Oh, that red yeah. part just looks epic, but I'm unsure I'm happy with that. Like that in the wild. And hi Aris, how are you? I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to use some sandstone on the, on the side. So it's kind of like our inside area. No problem. It's very red, kind of. Are you playing with shaders? Because, yeah, with shaders it's definitely normal. Without shaders it might... 100 might be a bit high. When was the last time you you cleaned your PC, like dust cleaning around the CPU and fans? Darker red than that? Might be a little bit too dark. Like red nether bricks? I thought about, actually I thought about using red nether bricks here. But they're a bit too red. You could use red sandstone stairs. Yes, yeah, someone said, no, red sandstone stairs, no. But red sandstone, someone already suggested. Let me try out normal sandstone. Red sandstone would be the, very, the most valuable stairs we've ever had. Yeah. Um, normal sandstone. Can you, can you give me like a stack of cut sandstone, one of the... Um, Ah, okay. I I cleaned the PC of my father when I went uh, home um, a few months ago, around Christmas. And that one was like maybe a few months away from auto incineration. The computer just <laughs> busting in flames of the amount of <laughs> dust. Yeah. dust. The CPU didn't have yet yeah, total fire hazard. The CPU didn't have any more of the liquid of the cooling liquid. The cooling liquid just became dust. And I don't want nor normal sandstone. I want cut sandstone. The CPU liquid became dust, and I was like. Father, you can't leave your, C your PC like that. Yeah, the thermal paste, exactly. Yeah. I wasn't sure how the word for that in English is. <laughs> it was it was dust. <laughs> and I was like, wow. <laughs> so I, I blew it out a little bit. Some some items. You really want to to bother me, right? You really want to bother me, right? <laughs> you think my OCD is not going to see this on the first trip already? <laughs> no, I'm just making use of your OCD. <laughs> um, I think that looks pretty natural. Yes, that's the, that's the way you do it. Uh, my first language is German. Hi Carson. Carson, you are in the way of me building. Please Carson, behave like an adult. <laughs> yeah, I got a, a slight German accent. N not very strong, I guess, no. People usually have uh, difficulties defining exactly where my accent is from. It's like, it's not native, but it's difficult to identify. There we go. Yeah, I can't wait to have like a stable place of living to buy a PC as well one day again been on, on lap only working on laptops I think for 
around four, five, six years, basically um, command. Now I say command and comment. Yes, I learned that one. <laughs> yes, now I can place the... No, it's not, it's not the normal German accent. <laughs> Um, waypoint decorations, infrastructure, infrastructure here, waypoints, one down, place it here, place one here, so we got one here, one here, and the other one here. Uh, Amago is uh, de France. Je ne parle pas français. Je viens d'une école. <laughs> I guess my my German French ex my French accent is absolutely German. I guess. Um, I'm gonna keep that one so I can can at least go up and down. I had like, I had a few years of French in school and it was, it was really difficult for me. It was my, compared to English, I had huge difficulties learning it, but in the end I got a private teacher and was able to do some fair progress, but I kind of lost most of it. Even though my, I wanted to maybe one day kind of learn it again a bit, because my grandmother is actually from from France. Um. A Fr a French is hard, but it's not as hard as German, I would say. Yeah, good good luck. <laughs> um, let me put the dirt, a bit of the dirt away, and then we're going to go... Th and I think I have some space here. So, and then we go in the nether a little bit. And... Oh! There are some darn pirates coming! Pirates! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Only one ship, but pirates are coming. Uh, I'm AFK. <laughs> Go. This is a family friendly stream. I said there are no strong words, but imagine me saying a very strong word to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, German is, German is hard. My, my, my girlfriend was uh, taking some German classes and was kind of suffering from it. Where's the ship? Good question. Northeast. No Northeast? Our North? university? What? I'm in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, I see it. God damn it. That's the worst direction. <laughs> oh, no. This is bad. Did, we, did you rally our guards already? No. <laughs> now I rallied them. Let me set the spawn point here we quickly. Can wait a bit with getting close. Oh wow. So we don't spawn too many yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to snipe a bunch here. Oh, they're coming already. Oh wow, guards are shooting, shooting me in the back. What's up with all guards? 
stop shooting. Why is it only like seven of them? A captain? Ow! Sorry. That was not the guards. <laughs> that was you. Ow! That hurt. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, I'm almost dead already. You're fighting a cap. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to swim there. And the knight has died. Are you on the ship already? No, I guess not. not there are some lone knights in the middle of 10 pirates. <laughs> okay. I got my pickaxe ready. Now, quickly. First, I think there was one on top of this one here too. And our guards are dying like flies already. Okay. Destroying these spawners as quickly as humanly possible. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Are you destroying spawners already? Some, yeah. I died. I died too, but I at least destroyed all these spawners. All of them? All of them. But we didn't get a... Ah, no, we did. Okay, we got all the spawners at least, but now we gotta get back to our beds. Our oh, guards are kinda dying, I got the feeling. Yeah, because they're oh, all yeah. retreating because they're now. All running. It's, it's Gia's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he, he improved something around that. Yeah. Um, other side, getting my bed, and uh, no, my bed, yeah, my my grave. Oh, my grave really spawned outside of the ship. Oh lord. Yeah, mine too. And our guards are dying. Okay, we just. I think we're just losing all our guards right now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We didn't lose any builders yet. Yes, but I see, I'm seeing some pirates walking and getting closer to um, getting up the shore. So I'm going to swim. Oh the wow. What? Grave? What? Oh wow. Equip my diamond armor. There's so much <laughs> equipment <laughs> down in the water. Getting this pirate captain here quickly. Okay. Now I'm seeing some pirates there at the bridge. <laughs> okay, no problem. Wait, no. I can't get up this shore at all. Um, swim to the bridge, under the bridge, um, dive under the bridge. Okay, we're, we're kind of able to do it. Let me see how many guards we lost. Okay, we lost 12 guards. 
But also because the uh, spawn location of the ship was less than ideal, I would say. Yeah, we only had like 10, 15 guards total. Yes. Yeah, but we didn't lose any citizens, citizens exactly. That's the the good thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff here in the chests. So I can pick up more of the things around here. Other rangers died. Where did they die? In this direction, didn't they? Oh yeah, it didn't say yet that all pirates are dead. Oh, it said already? No, it, it did didn't. Not. I think a few pirates were able to get into the colony somewhere. Yeah, got to search for them. 65... 65 Where is that? I'm seeing the red cross and I found the armor of our guard and I can hear Where is it? There, at least. One. On the on J doesn't it tell me anything? Not seeing any. I'm seeing a broken door at the archery. But I'm sure if there's another pirate around here. Oh, one is it's a ship. Oh. Uh. oh lol. I see three pirates remaining. One at the ship and two in those ice mountains. In those ice mountains? Yeah, I have no idea what they are doing. But there must there. be more because we got still like five cities, uh, at least five pirates, right? We didn't get the last Six messages. Four. Let me kill. Ah, there's at least a force here in those mountains. Let me run around here in the colony if I can find one of them. I'm killing those in the water now. Oh wow, we lost so much equipment with them, I think, as well, around the colony. Something must be wrong with our passing, they are going... Hi Irish Chef. Okay. That was oh, it. Yeah, but... Now we lost all the feathers in the ship. Oh yeah, damn it. Damn. <laughs> Didn't even get the bonus stuff on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of disappointing. <laughs> yeah, let's try again. <laughs> nice try, you failed. Um, meanwhile, I'm trying to dump a bunch of this stuff here in the chests. Um, here. My shulker boxes are full of stuff too. This here, this here, this here. Are the pirates still around or did they, de ah, they despawn as well, they right? They despawn as well, yes. I think we have to try to pick up a bunch of that stuff our workers lost. At least try to. There we go. At least some of the stuff I can dump here. There we go. 
So I can pick those back up. Yeah, you missed the pirates and 12 of our guards dying and losing their stuff all, our, uh, all over our colony. A lot of armor. Ah. Okay, there's none of that stuff left. So, what do you have? Too many boots. Need to organize this a little bit. And too many chainmail legs. There we go. And we also lost the loot of the pirate ship, yes. Yes, I do have Frostwalker on my boots. That can be very useful. Sometimes I get very confused about it. And I could have probably run to the pirate ship not remembering about that. Yeah, true. Let me see if there's anything around here, the waters. No. They are always kind of stuck at the... Uh... Which, uh, oh, I'll take care. Let me see. So that one has um, leggings too much, and that helmet we can repair. Right away. Yes, my lord. There you get the helmet and all the other stuff. Uh. You don't need actually. Got a extra bow, and got a stone sword. So that's kind of poor. <laughs> yeah, that's not doing so much damage to pirates. Um, I need to put the weighty things. Um, what and the other you? one. Right away. Okay, you got a stone sword as well. Seems very useful. And that's it. Let me check on the other one, how the other one is doing, because I know there are a few more here. How is the world? Okay, that one has a full inventory <laughs> of stuff. Okay, here you go. The stone sword, sword I take away. Another one. Do you know that a bunch of the, the, our guards have um, chief swords now? What can I do for you? Really? <laughs> yes, I I found one chief sword dropped and one chief sword in an inventory right now. Okay, you are Wilmot. Full inventory of stuff. That one even has an ominous banner. <laughs> um, and four chest blades. Wait, let me let me find a crafting table quick. Ow, no, I didn't want to jump into water. Yes, they can use it, I guess. Um, let me make here a chest to dump stuff in. Okay, there we go. Gonna dump all that stuff in. I don't need right now. There we go. How many? Guards, do you have with you, uh, Banner? So you... Right away. Let's hunt. Okay, you are a archer, so you don't need shields. You need armor. That is fine. You don't need all the extra stuff you have here right now. Just need one bow. Sorry. Um, they're kind of stuck in water. Are they? Yeah. Did you put the um an update of performance there? Yeah, but they were stuck before as so. well. Not as not when I usually removed. Okay. Yes, block there. Yeah, I'm gonna test. It. Yes, they're still stuck. I think that's. Okay, you are. When is a ranger as well, an archer as well? Okay, you don't need all these swords you're having. You need one bow and one chest. 
one this and one that and all the other things you actually don't need you bring that yeah they have so much armor <laughs> performant as an update yes uh, some edits is experimenting on some things to yeah it's got some multi sweating for entities now some Especially for moving them. some special stuff for performant we're going to see in the next updates relatively soon, probably. There were more guards. Did the other one walk away? Okay, good. Um, you got... Helmet and all the other things you actually don't need either. Well, these chests are getting full. <laughs> they need another one. At least that had to be done at some point. There was thinking earlier I have to organize those guard inventories at some moment so that gives me a moment now that most are dead is <laughs> a good moment to organize them less guards to fix yes I can fix some of that armor together as well I'm going to do that fire protection could be useful so now next thing we get all our that's diamond armor. Diamond armor. <laughs> it would be a lot better than chainmail. Yeah, that's true though. So our guards definitely have room for improvement. Okay, um, now we put that in here. I need some dirt to fix. Uh, do I have dirt in Yes, I have dirt in here to fix that shoreline here. And I'm going to just recall them at their hut, at their barracks. There we go. And I'm going to go with guard tower by guard tower too. Let's fix up those guards finally. Yes, they. Yeah, the problem is they don't drop off all the things they should be dropping off. Need my services today. Um, get it stuff the yes. Um, who oh. works here? We got a ton of uh, child snow, so we need more paper. <laughs> okay, that's Winfried. Do you need my services today? Okay, that's fine. Yes, I'm going to have to take... Yes, I think performance is preventing them from walking up the shore. Right. Yes, my lord. No. I yes. got the composter here. <laughs> I got here a bunch of workers stuck all over the water everywhere. What are our workers doing in the water? <laughs> I don't know. What is performance doing with those workers in the water? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But at least we didn't lose any other worker, so that's okay-ish. I guess. What can I do for you? Okay, organize that stuff here too. Okay, that one has only the stuff that he needs. Are you the one working here? You're not. You're not even working on this tower. Get off this tower. <laughs> working? Why did we even hire him? Okay. Let me check the other guard tower here. That one has a complete set of armor. And is there a worker working assigned to this? Yes. It's Ray. How is Ray? Ray doesn't. Is not wearing his armor. What is it? Why aren't you wearing your armor, Ray? Can you tell me that? If aren't you, you requesting so, armor? He's not. What can I do for you? Oh, that's weird. There was just armor in this chest. Ah, it's down there. Sorry. I'm going to give the armor to him. Um, 
As I may be only ch checking oh, the hat book. Yeah, I wondered that as well. Could be possible. I don't remember fully how I coded it. It's a bit like it's a long time ago, so that could have been coded before we added the joint inventory stuff. Yeah. That one has a lot of stuff here too. And I'm seeing another worker in the water. When? What's it today, then? Okay, your inventory is sorted out. Let me check the next one. Ciao, Captain. See you tomorrow. We're we getting tower by tower now. Reynolds, yes, you got a lot of stuff in your inventory, too. That one was definitely stalking the fishermen. <laughs> he has a lot of fishermen stuff in his inventory. Um, I'm going to trade those because that helmet is not going to break so soon. There we go. I'm going to sleep quickly too. Mm, let me drink some water. Ah, that one was important. Those pirates left me totally dehydrated. The chat in the, on the stream. Yeah, I wanted to check into a few things like that in the relatively new future as well. Definitely want to do that, yes. I wanted to get those events that when someone follows you, it shows up on the stream as well. And those kind of fancy things. Overlay stuff. Yes, exactly. Oh yes, especially on YouTube, I guess. Yes, true. Um, all, the amount of letters inside here is just astonishing. Yes, my lord. Did you get us some letters again? Yes, someone just spammed my inventory with letters. Can someone do something like that, right? In your inventory. Yeah, yeah. How? How? No one would do that. No, no one would do that. <laughs> yeah, I guess people on YouTube are kind of thinking that I got um, schizophrenia and I'm talking with myself. <laughs> with, with coming up with very weird ideas all the time. <laughs> like completely out of context. Things that are completely out of context, exactly. Um, that's all stuff. So I'm going to put all my stuff here into the boxes. Uh, oh, I did build, and that should be fine. And I can pick up the content of the box and dump into the warehouse. And then it gets redistributed where it has to be. We could put a hopper on our warehouse block so we can just throw items in there. Yeah, that would be a good idea. I'm searching an empty chest all the time too. Yeah, me too. We probably we want to upgrade the storage as well. Yeah. Did I you? Think it's level five. It's level four at the moment, so we have to upgrade one more time. Yeah. In the chest. Ah, uh, Chia. Oh, in the newest open. version, do the guards still like? retreat immediately after death or do they have a short delay too before they go back to their previous ta tasks and we have to clean up here a little bit as well in those let me click the sort button quickly again oh yeah I found an empty one that is nice um. I guess I'm going to keep the low ones because I'm going to connect them later on. There are a bunch of books. We should probably remove as well and put somewhere else. There's a need for all these books in the warehouse. This here 
can go all in the warehouse. Yes, some add-ons has uh, access to all the info in our town. Let me take out a few of those books already. Going to bring them in our stash. They're kind of filling up our warehouse. Ouch. Not nice. Yeah, it's okay. We said already that we in the future are going to add something that you can just put the flag down and that's going to be the position. So I guess that is... We can wait until then. Um, are you on the server or are you on playing on LAN mode? That is an important distinction, distinction to make. On the server or on the LAN mode? Um, let me run there. It's a server. That's weird then. There are some settings on restrictions based on that. So maybe there's a re like he's an officer, but on the next page, officers don't have a lot of permissions. Oh, my Discord died again. Yeah, I don't know what happens there. Hey, me. Hi, I'm back. Discord <laughs> and Linux. <laughs> Discord had fun again, I guess. Uh, okay, we have so much chainmail armor. We don't have to make for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I put uh, them on stock anyways for our warehouse, so... We shouldn't need to make any ourselves at all. Yeah, nice. Uh, here, here, and here. That, that, those not. This, 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 pirate boots, golden boots. Those two bows I can put together too. Uh, here we go. So that one is repairable too. And that bow is here. I'm going to take the remaining books here. I'm going to put those here in the upper corner. That one. And I saw another one here with books here. I'm going to put the books all in our main storage here. Yeah. <laughs> Very slightly used armor, yes indeed. There we run. Almost out of... Do we have some food here in the storage? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I remember we do. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going just to dump it everywhere in here. It's fine. And I know there's some food around here. No, the main chest then. Yeah. There is the f cook as well, but I want just a little bit of food. Was it here? Tool? Okay, I'm going to pass by the cook. He's around the corner anyway. Can I try out the feature right away? Yes, it worked. <laughs> here you go, <gasps> sir. How old is that? Way. How old is what? The feature where he gives you food. Very old. Yeah. I coded it in the moment I coded the cook. <laughs> I guess it's one of these features you don't really expect. But that was, yes, coded um, from the beginning at the cook. Okay, we got more here. That is my bow. I'm going to have to repair. That's my sword. Is there anything else in here? No. No. So I can break this. 
and put in the warehouse again. And he did know that I like baked potatoes. Gwen's been around for a long time, and Gwen definitely knows my tastes. He's adapted fairly well. Even though I'm still missing Alice, and he was a great cook. Some tremendous cooking skills. But he he's been he's gone a, a fair way in knowing what I like and dislike. Like I haven't gotten any broccoli red yet. Or letters. Neither letter yeah, nor letters, so that's good. <laughs> uh -huh -hum. Okay, that bow, this here. Tombstone cell bone is this one here. Okay, that one here is a very low durability. Okay, I'm going to search now for stuff I can combine together. All those look fine. Okay, here are a lot of bows. I'm going to get them. Oh, we have a lot of arrows. Do you want to see that? We have like three rows of arrows. All enchanted though, we're about to break. <laughs> I could giving you broccoli, that would be <laughs> the guillotine. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be so happy either. Unbreaking. Do we have another unbreaking three? You said I can put... no. If I combine bows, they always cost levels, If it, even if they have the same enchantment. Yeah. Oh lord, even a lot of... In so I'm just going to throw them all together. I don't care. I'm only going to keep the good ones then. So what do we have? Good ones. Power 4 and mending. So... No, I don't care. Power f 4. Power 4 and breaking 3. All the other ones are uninteresting. Power 3, nah. That's okay. Power 4 and breaking 3. Yeah. All the other ones I'm going just to put together. I don't care. I'm going to spend... Someone said that I can combine the same items together if they have the same enchants on them, but it yeah, was a lie. No, but it costs levels. Yeah, of course. So it's useless. Not if you have levels. Yeah, but it costs a lot of levels. It's useless. <laughs> There we go. We don't need to keep styles here. Oh, that one is also useless. Imagine if we made the post box requesting cost levels. <laughs> ah. That Whatever. Would be awesome. Going to combine all of them. Requesting. <laughs> I think we still have enchanted bows still in the warehouse, even though I used all yeah, of those up. Fisher is fishing like 10. Yeah, the fisher is picking up a lot of them. Similar to those fishing rods here. Maybe by default he should throw anything that's not fish away. Like, that's trash, I can't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to do some research to make him keep some of it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to combine those fishing rods too. I'm tired of that eating up our our space in the warehouse. Margo was not um, appreciating your your idea. Yes. Okay, I'm going to just I'm just combining all of them. I don't care. Fisherman is making so many by the day. Great job. An enchantment. Oh, oh, fish. Um... There we go. 
and to combine all of them as well. Just so much wasted space of the warehouse. Yes, I put my personal bow in my shocker box. I was going to cry if I come back and I see it. <laughs> but it's not even worth using them as fuel, is it? Because I'm going to oh. so sort again. The warehouse, another time. Look! They come just they, they're just coming back. <laughs> I combined a lot of them, just put it back again, coming up again. I'm pretty I sure, yes. Our enchanter could do combining enchanted items in the warehouse. Yeah, could be maybe something for the enchanter. But it's kind of difficult to request, no, right? Yeah. It's no, like no, it's to combine. two items with the same mpt value yeah, but if you make it like a new request type that should be not so difficult to do to be honest yeah on request should, should work. just make it a new and uh, request type like two things with the same mbt value um let's just combine them to repair them okay let me see through those chests. I need to take a bunch of those books with me and put them into our storage system in the other hut. Dum de dum. We are getting somewhere. Cleaning up our warehouse, cleaning up our guards. Can you look through the barrack guards and just clean up their armor and extra yeah. items they're holding? Maybe it shouldn't be a lot of them <laughs> because most of them died. <laughs> yeah, I had new ones. Uh -huh. So there we go, back to the warehouse. Uh -huh. Damn it, recall isn't working. Recall isn't working? Uh, I guess if recall isn't working, that's probably because of performance. <laughs> it's just that one guard that doesn't. Okay, that looks fine. Yeah, I'm going to let not all of them now. Yes, storage mods would definitely help extracting some items from the warehouse quicker to organize them uh -huh. they're growing up so quick nowadays okay that's way better already going to take a bunch of these saddles with me as well <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, need so sure many. Maybe leave three in the warehouse. Maybe our Fletcher or so could disassemble them to leather. Yeah, that would maybe be a good idea. Yeah, there's upstairs too, I know. Uh -huh. I know there was another chest with um, books. Up here it was. Yes. I'm going to walk back again. So downstairs everything is cleaned up. And then I can go upstairs and do the remaining work. Clean out a bit gives us space in the warehouse. And most people don't know that. But it improves the... Uh, I'm walking the wrong direction. It also improves the performance. I'm clicking the sort button. Um, and sorting the racks into similar stacks improves the overall mine colony's performance. Um, what do you mean with will we be able to play mine colonies when the update comes out? 
actually. Like, yes, you will be able to play mine colonies when it comes out, but not on 116. We're it's going to take a while. Yes. This is going to take a while. It's going to need another two weeks until Forge has a, a version out for it. And then it's going to need probably another two weeks for us to get a version out for it too. Then probably another month or two till everything is stable. Oh wow, we got so much armor in the warehouse. And so much saddles. <laughs> we don't need those. I'm going to take a bunch of them with me as well. More. There we go. I got here a bunch more bows to combine, but that's going to be fine now. So I can leave the warehouse behind. Yes, it, it always needs a while until until Forge brings out the version and then we need another two weeks to have a somewhat playable version, usually. Depending on how much we need to change. Yeah, exactly. Like 115 was a huge pain, other versions are usually not as terrible. 114 was a huge pain too. <laughs> I mean, I meant 114, yes. 115 was not very... 115... You have to start over. We, we usually make, on purpose, some changes between 115 and between the versions. Like, there are some things we want to change, usually, but we don't change yet because we know that people don't want to lose their worlds so we make those changes with the new versions but it also means that you can't port the worlds over especially since Forge isn't supporting it anyway so we don't care so much did you check through the guards already? yeah okay any extra but most were dead anyway, so... Is it a good idea to have two guards down there in the dark? Should be fine. <laughs> Should be fine. Two guards died. If not, they died. Yes, we do usually... We like When we like to do like ID changes and these kinds of things, we do them then. I can help you with that. That's the best moment to do them. We got two chests as well. Okay, the warehouse is sorted out. So that's something I'm not going to do in a while. <laughs> going that put back in here. So I can get my... Already! Really? That was a quick one. Yeah. Still At least no pirates. Pirates? No, no pirates. Can you sleep quickly? Yeah. Here's my bow, you see? You could get maybe the guards from the second barracks too. Oh, we have a bunch of guards in the second barracks, right? I'm just going to bow them down. I think there's not enough time right now to take care of that. I take a minute or two to start walking, but... Oh, they're very close to the border here. Oh, where my armor? I need to yeah, They can always spawn outside here. To really the card? No. Okay, I think we should do that in case they uh, get hit. Oh! <laughs> oh! No! 
This was bad. <laughs> they they broke really quick through that thing. Well, that's many. Oh lord, this is bad. Where are you? I'm right next to those fighting. Oh lord. I kind of feel we could. Uh, that could be bad. Um, are they still coming in? Nah, you blocked some. I was able to block it in the last second. Okay, that's at least something. Where is my grief? Okay. Oh, the others are outside. Nice. Some dispensers with uh, arrows. Oh, some are inside. Some are inside, I guess. And dying. Okay. I can see them on the map here. University at all. So where the two remaining ones are at the university? Yeah. Okay. Let's go there quickly. Oh, outside our walls. No, one is inside. One is inside? Where? Get the... At the university? Yeah. I can't see any. You are not at the university. See? There he is. Ah, uh, kinda inside. Outside. One was inside, so. Ah, okay. One inside. So I'm going to fix the wall there quickly. And put the doors back. But while well, they broke through the doors and. Three seconds yeah. or so. That was really quick. Yeah, especially Jesus, doors. We have three layers of doors. Yeah, but those. I meant they broke through three layers of doors in that time. Really? Huh. Yes. I guess I can work at multiple doors at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to make a bunch more doors out of three, the remaining two layers. Yeah, the next time I know already. Oh, it would be a nice thing for my colonies, actually. We... So they take longer to break. We do what? Uh, we could make some doors which take longer to break. Yeah. Some micro spiffs. It could could door. just could just be a research, right? And the the think the raiders the raiders. Would be nice. No, just we, a re could, we could do a research and nice I think a research is easier. And the raiders just ask the university how difficult the doors are, uh, the colony. I mean, yeah, but that's then we need to implement more of the vanilla AI. <laughs> ah, yeah, true. Although still, research would be neat. Um, 
Okay. There we go. I need... How much levels do I have to spend to repair my bow, by the way? Depends how often you already repaired it. Oh, the more, the more often you repair it, the more expensive it gets? Yeah, I had to get a new book oh, recently for myself too. Oh, I le only 9 enchantment levels for a full repair. Still pretty cheap. Yes, that was pretty cheap. I expected like 30 levels or so. Yeah, my last run wanted 33 levels, never. Yeah, that's... It that before it broke. I, I spent more or less like that to get power of, uh, 6. But we can have power six. Yes. I <laughs> thought this was power five. <laughs> yeah, power oh, six yeah. was fairly expensive, but uh, it was worth it. Um, which university level you need for taunt? We can check that quickly. Um, just. Taunt is yeah, level one university level only. And having one worker assigned to it, right? Yeah, doors are broken on the archer, but it's not so important because we got a upgrade scheduled anyway for it. That's going to repair it too. Um, everyone is growing up. Dum de dum. And then this means the requirement building level and not the university building level probably. Oh, I can walk up the stairs as well now to my favorite tree. So we are over an hour and a half in the stream today. <laughs> this time it was a bit more chaotic. We had to defend against an immense of raider attack of pirates and then after we lost a lot of our colony we even lost our uh, even had a barbarian attack I will have to set up in the next video the um, maybe a second rallying banner but uh, instead on the other barracks yeah so that's, maybe a good idea. that's probably a good idea so that I can then more quickly react one time with that, one time with the other, sometimes with both. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to follow us. If you want to support us and the development of the mod, you can subscribe or even become a Patreon. We're very glad for everyone supporting our mod and everyone joining in our streams makes streaming much more interesting having someone to interact with i'm going to see you guys on sunday don't forget that tomorrow is my free day and see you sunday then good night everyone <laughs>